referee Dave Kamansky is, uh, has called his uh, colleagues in involved in the play and they are discussing it here so that they come up with the ultimate decision that is correct. Dennis Thurman, the defensive captain out there for Southern California, Jeff Rutledge and Dave Sadler, offensive captains for Alabama. Now Ozzie Newsom has come over to join in the conversation and it is Newsom who indicates, as you can see, that the penalty will be accepted and it will go against Southern California. Now, if you take a look at the statistics, uh, they're pretty even, 194 yards, total yards for Alabama, 202, but the dominance of the running game and the possession of it. You can see that uh, USC has been able to do it on the on their passing game. Let's see, there's another person, well, another foul. Another foul? It's all the way down to wow. the nine-yard line, and that'll come up to a total of 118 yards and penalties against Southern California in the ball game today. 118 yards. How many in wow. this quarter? There's been 68 60 yards. 68 in this quarter. Those are the kind of mistakes that you just can't afford. I don't imagine uh, she'll have any trouble getting the troops to stand up to <laughs> let her walk down the aisle. It's first down. They need a yard and a half for another first down from the nine. And Johnny Davis is inside the five before he will be toppled. It is first and goal to go Alabama at the Southern California four yard line. Well, he's come up with that tough yardage when it's been needed. You know, he's about 227 pounds and he's a pretty good load going in there. Donnie Faust 44 checks in. He's 210. He replaces Lou Eichner who weighs about 175. They got old Davis nicknamed right. I'll tell you that they call him the bull. Major Ogilvy. No, it is Tony Nathan back in at halfback. So it's Nathan, Faust, and Davis behind Rutledge. First and goal at the four. Nathan to the one. Matthews, Gutierrez, Crawford stacking it for Southern California. It is second and goal to go from the one, and this is why Nathan going trying to get up over the top of the stack. Gets good blocking up front. They drive the Trojans back off the line, and Nathan really puts a move on. And almost a face mask there again by J Dennis Johnson. Reached in there and grabbed Nathan's mask, but let it go, let go of it in time before there was a call. Alabama leading seven to six. The ball is exactly on the one-yard line. The Tide having dominated the second and third quarters of the ball game, and we're now in the fourth with 13:48 to play in the game, and time is up. Here we go, second down and goal for Alabama at the Southern California one-yard line. Only 13:48 to play in the game, and Alabama leading seven to six. A touchdown and an extra point makes it 14 to six here and makes it a tough 13 minutes for Southern California. The nation's top ranked team. It is Nathan. He's got a touchdown for Alabama. Are they going to go for two? They just might. Well, they, uh, first. He went out over the right side where I'll tell you one of the things in this ball game that has been a little bit surprising to me and uh, Jim Bunch number 63 has flat whipped Walt Underwood so far up front today and it was right there that Nathan went. That right side is blocked very well. Kreider and Bunch. USC is charged with a team timeout with 13.45 to go in this ball game and Alabama waiting for the extra point try. Now the decision has been made. Alabama will kick for the extra point. Roger Chapman. Looks good. It is good. With 13 minutes and 45 seconds to play in the game, Alabama builds its lead to 14.6 what could be a major upset. Here are the startling facts of the matter. Alabama, 14 to 6 over Southern California with 13.45 to go. The kickoff, it goes to Dwight Ford, steps back a yard in the end zone, and here he comes. 
And he gets it to the 20. So next Saturday, we can now tell you that the Texas Longhorns, who came up with that 13 to 6 victory over Oklahoma today, will meet the undefeated Razorbacks of Arkansas in Fayetteville. Check your local listings for the game time. Both of them undefeated. It's reminiscent of the old shootout game back in 1969. Well, I imagine the redhead Frank Broyles is going to have a busy week, huh? <laughs> you bet you will. Southern California in trouble. The nation's top-ranked team trailing by eight points from the 19-yard line. Mossy Tatupu fights for a yard, no more. Hamilton, 94. Curtis McGriff, 96. The Alabama defense has been the star of this ball game, collectively. Well, the possession time is almost even. First downs, though, the possession of the game, because I think it's about 19 to 9, I believe, first downs. And uh, therein lies the difference. From the 20, second down and nine for Southern California. <laughs> Hurdle to throw. Blocked. Intercepted by Alabama. The ball was blocked and then intercepted. Blocked by Curtis McGriff and intercepted by Wayne Hamilton. Hamilton, who had taken a blow from Charles White, he was blocked back in his direction, and would you believe it, the big defensive end caught the ball before it hit the ground. What a play. And so here's Alabama, first and goal to go at the Southern California eight-yard line, and 63,140 people sitting here in the Coliseum are stunned. Well, you bet they are, because the Trojans were heavily favored. We're seeing quite an upset. <laughs> to Nathan, right. penalty flags are down. The Alabama offensive front might have been a little quick getting off the mark. It's been a penalty-filled ball game. There have been an enormous amount of mistakes. But over all of this shines the Alabama defense that made this position possible. Now, let's see what happens. There you see the man on the right side of the Alabama line moving before the ball was snapped. Just beat the count by a fraction of a second. Five-yard penalty. Illegal motion. Carter Hartwig, who's played a strong game for USC at cornerback, out. Looked like he hurt his ankle. Larry Brazil is in, and Brazil had a block on a field goal try earlier in the game so he's back in back him up five first down and goal to go from the 13 of USC Rutledge outside to Nathan he scores super blocking from Lou Eichner and from Ozzie Newsom and Nathan took it in Eichner sawed down Dennis Thurman. Nathan made his cut, and he was home. And it's 20 to 6 Alabama. And they've done it all afternoon. Both halfbacks, four halfbacks actually. Rutledge comes down the line, deals the ball off perfectly on the option. You can see Nathan feel it, feel it. Gets a lead block again. Good blocking downfield. Ozzie Newsom throws to ward off a defender. And of course, they're on the scoreboard again. The kick by Chapman. It is good with 12 minutes and 47 seconds to play in the game. Alabama leads USC 21 to six. Nathan, there isn't a happier soul in the world right now. He just scored the touchdown to put Alabama out in front 21 to six. He has 73 yards to kick off. It goes to Dwight Ford. Ford has been the most effective of the Southern California trio of tailbacks in this ball game. He brings that kickoff return to the 24, and now Southern California has 12 minutes and 40 seconds to work with as they trail by 15 points. A crowd of 63,140 on hand for the game, though it's my understanding more than 71,000 tickets were sold. Southern California with the longest winning streak in college football at 15 games. In serious trouble now, having it snapped. Sweeney is in motion. He hasn't seen the ball all day. Rob Hurdle gives it to Charles White. 
And White can't go anywhere. He has done almost nothing today since the first quarter. And David Hanna and Ricky Gilliland and Dewey Mitchell just swarm him. <laughs> that defense is just swarming them. They have no chance. They can't even get back to the line of scrimmage. The Old loss ben. is back to about the 20 yard line. It'll be second down and 14. Picture coming from the Goodyear Blimp, Columbia. On second and 14, hurdle fumble. Trojans recover it. Never came away with it from the snap. I think Rob uh, Hurdle tried to get away too rapidly, and uh, the ball, either that or the ball came a little late because there was no exchange there. And the, they were fortunate to recover the ball. I want to see how quick they get up this time to let her come back to her seat. Old Ben keeps running, too. It's down to 11 and a half minutes. Of course, there's a lot of time in the game. All right. Third down. The ball is back near the 18. Third down and about 16 for Southern California. Hurdle back to throw. Protection this time. Over the middle it goes. Simran can't hang on up at the 37. Let him just a fraction too much. And he would have had a first down on the play if he'd been able to hang on to the ball. It was a tough catch. It was low, but it was enough for the first down after the loss of five yards on that first play. Right through his hands as he was trying to dive for it. And it brings up fourth down. Southern California now. We'll have to kick it away. You see and best known perhaps as Gomer looking on. Marty King will hit it. Ozzie Newsom will receive it. 11-15 to play in the game. King's kick. Knuckleball. Newsom waves and then lets it go as the ball is kicked away from him. Bounces straight up in the air. The Trojans down it. The ball is dead. Alabama 43-yard line. First down tied. 38-yard putt. Here's Bill Flynn. All right, Keith. A couple of updates on our scoreboard right now. In the fourth quarter, Colorado over Oklahoma State 22 to 13, and BYU is now leading Oregon State 13 to nothing with Gifford Nielsen, the top collegiate passer, hitting 14 for 21 in the first half and two touchdowns. That's 14 and 15 for him, but he was also intercepted once. Okay, Keith. Boy, he's a thrower, though. I'll tell you that. Fine young man. Travis goes wide for Alabama. First down. They're on 43. They lead 21 to 6. And Stedman Sheely is in at quarterback. Keeps and comes to the 45 for two yards. Southern California to get back in the ball game now. They've got to have some luck with 10.50 to play. Yeah, they need the help of Alabama now. I think they uh, a fumble interception, which uh, Alabama's unlikely to do. They're in the driver's seat right now. You can see the story on the two tailbacks, in a sense, Charles White of USC and uh, Tony Nathan of Alabama. But White Ford, I think, actually probably has more playing time today for the Trojans than does uh, White. It is second down and eight yards to go for the Tide. Stedman Chile pitches it outside to Ferguson. He's stacked up at the line of scrimmage, making the tackle. Gary Cobb, Southern, uh, Clay Matthews for Southern California. Well, that's one of the few times they've been able to shut off the option. It's been working all day. Matthews really reacted to it that time, disregarded the fullback, fake to the inside, and just went for the pitch man. The coaching staff, Ken Donahue, Paul Crane, Sylvester Croon, Bill Oliver, Mal Moore, Bobby Marks, Bryant Poole, Dee Powell, Jeff Rousey, Jack Rutledge, and Shorty White, all involved in what's happening here today. Ferguson, streaming to the left, gets to the 46. As they brought an Alabama football team in brilliantly prepared to play. Well, you can say that again. They are really prepared for this ball game. Emotionally, strategically, physically. Fourth down coming up now as Alabama is unable to punch out a first down. 98 to 30, the yards are rushing in the second half. And Lynn Kane drops back now to accept the punt from Buddy Holt. Good kick. kick. Kane at the seven. No place to go. <laughs> Downfield number four, Keith Pugh from Evergreen, Alabama, stops him after a 47-yard kick by Buddy Hope. 
next Monday night, ABC's NFL Monday Night Football game, the Los Angeles Rams and the Chicago Bears from Soldier Field in Chicago. The Rams 2-1, and one, the Bears 1-2. and two. The Bears really want to muscle up and win one. They need a win in that central division of the NFL. The Rams, of course, being led this year by Joe Willie Namath. That's Monday night on ABC at 9 Eastern Time. The football is marked just inside the nine of USC. 91 yards away from the Alabama goal line, and Hurdle's going to put it up. He's going down the sidelines for Cal Sweeney. He overthrows it. Fly pattern trying for the home run with the goal line in his back, and he missed him. If he had him, uh, if he had been on target, uh, he had him open. Been a big gainer. Ricky Tucker and Don McNeil were running with Sweeney. He was double teamed coming down the sidelines and now it's 9 29 to play in the ball game 21 to 6 Alabama going to be a little shuffling in the old pole game come Monday and Tuesday. You, you bet. Second and ten hurdle gives it to Lynn Kane at tailback and Kane runs it out to the 15 yard line. Bill. Well, all the UCLA fans will be mighty happy to hear this news, that Theotis Brown has just run 75 yards for the Bruins, and the score in that game is now 19-14 to 14 in favor of Stanford. Stanford, after that run of Theotis Brown for the touchdown, had a 22-yard field goal by Ken Neighbor. Don't forget, for the post-game scoreboard show, Dave Diles and Andrea Kirby will have all the scores for you, as well as those highlights of the Cotton Bowl game. On third down and four, Hurdle swings it out to Kane. Kane's got daylight. He's got a first down. He comes up to the 27-yard line. First time we've seen that play today. Yeah, a quick screen out to the left. And the uh, Alabama team dropped off into a zone and was unable to cover that flare. Mike Hayes was flying on the play, but they dropped it off. On the screen to Kane, and under the rule this year, remember your lineman can come downfield and block on the screen. First down, Trojans at the 27. We've got a long way to go yet. They're going to the air. The pass in the air, complete to Randy Simran as he is ridden hard out of bounds, but he held on. Randy on the way is around 163 pounds. He can fly, though, I'll tell you that. Working on Don McNeil. Great catch. McNeil made him pay for it. And he was tackled inbounds here. Going down on that left hand. I hate to see somebody do that because I can never forget what happened to Matt Cavanaugh, who understands about ready to play. Well, he was supposed to play today. First down, SC at the 39 yard line. And Hurdle will put it up again. Yes, Sweeney open. Throws instead with the sidelines to Howard Stuttered. And Stuttered takes it out of bounds. Maybe another first down for uh, Southern California, and it is. They'll have it right at the Alabama 49-yard line. Stop the clock, too. Stuttered is the bigger of the split receivers for Southern Cal. He's a 6'4", 212-pound senior, and was in that play in place of Randy Simran. Hurdle. Gives the ball to Lynn Kane. Hamilton gets a piece of him and slows him down. And Don McNeil comes along to put him away. Not too bad a call, even though the clock is running again. A running play, figuring that Alabama would drop off uh, into extensive zones and only rush three or four men. They thought they might be able to get some yardage rushing, but good reactions by the defense of Alabama kept it to about a two-yard gain. Clock is running at 7.40 to play in the ball game. It is second down and eight yards to go from the 47 of Alabama. Tied leading 21 to 6 against the nation's top ranked team. Hurdle throws it over the middle. Simran's out there. He's got it. And Tucker wrestles him out of bounds. Ricky Tucker, a freshman, number 18, saved the touchdown, but it's another first down for Southern Cal at the Alabama 19. Beautiful pass route by Simran. He acts like he's coming clear to the inside, breaks to the sideline. And Hurdle puts it right there. You can see why Southern California is such a dangerous offensive team, and even more so why Alabama's played an outstanding defensive game the way they've contained them up till now. Simran, five catches and 104 yards for the Bears' concern. First down at the tied 19. They send the fullback up into a flanker position now, leaving one man back and Hurdle to throw. Pressure's on. 
He gets it off. It is complete to Tatupu. Mossy Tatupu to the seven, to the five. And it's first and goal to go Southern California with 7.14 to play. Good reactions by Hurdle that time. He was bit, they elected to blitz him, and uh, he got rid of the ball when it looked like he was going to lose yardage. Huey Mitchell was the blitzing linebacker that almost got Hurdle. But Hurdle was able to get it away, and it's first and goal to go Southern Cal at the, U uh, the Alabama five-yard line and 7.05 now to play in the game. Man-to-man -man coverage. Hurdle will put it up. He throws it. It is incomplete and almost intercepted. Intended for Cal Sweeney and number 21 Mike Tucker got his hands on the ball instead. I think they had a little mix up there. Uh, let's see whether or not looked to me like Sweeney was open here right on his sideline and he threw the ball deep. You see 24 Sweeney was wide open and he looked like I mean, he might have supposed to, he should have gone into the corner. But at any rate I think Hurdle probably made the mistake in judgment. 6.51 to play in the ball game on the incomplete pass and it's second down and goal to go at the five. Texas has already defeated Oklahoma. Alabama trying to beat Southern Cal and leading 21 to 6. And a penalty. Too much time Southern Cal. That's 123 yards in total penalties against the Trojans. Oh, I'll tell you. That's a lot of penalties, and you can see the effect of them, particularly in the third quarter when they had the field position changes as a result of the face mask calls. And now here you are down at the five-yard line, and I'll tell you, it get tough to get into the end zone from the ten-yard line, even from the five, let alone the ten. Extra defensive back has gone in now. Murray Leg checks into the lineup as they take a uh, lineman out, Curtis McGriff. Protecting against what they expect to be the pass on second and goal from the 10. Hurdles passes into the end zone. Touchdown! Cal Sweeney! What a catch! Murray Leg was blitzing. And Calvin Sweeney. Sweeney coming across the middle. Watch him hang on to this ball when he's hit by Murray Leg right there. Wow, looked like he was going to shake it loose. Did. He grabs it back. He did drop it. Momentarily anyway, but he grabbed it back. Trojans going for two. Crowd on their feet. Hurdle rolls it. In trouble. Throws it. The two feet. They've got the two. What a play. Don McNeil almost had him down on the ground. He still threw it. He made it, and it's 21 to 14. What a reaction by Hurdle. Looked like he was going to be knocked down for negative learning. Here comes the White Horse, thundering around the stadium. And conquest echoing from across the way. And it's the first time the Southern California partners have had a chance to cheer in quite a while. Watch the touchdown play first now as Sweeney comes across and takes a wallop, loses the ball, and then catches it again before it hits the ground. Really wallop right there by McNeil. Ball comes loose and he scoops it up. Great reaction. There's a two-point play. You see Hurdle's almost down. He throws the ball as he's falling. The two pulls there and takes it in for the two-point play, and it's a big one. And the kickoff. Nathan backs up at the goal line. Back into the stack and he's buried. Back at the 13-yard line with six minutes and 41 seconds to play in the ball game. It is a 21 to 14 game right now. Momentum has shifted. Alabama needs a first down. Trojans need the ball. When Alabama has run its money plays today, they have gone behind Bunch and Fighter on the right side. 
Neal is the tight end, except he flexes wide to the right to the open side. Newsom is down to the left side, and the crowd is roaring, and Jeff Rutledge wants no part of it. He walks away. So the nation's number one ranked football team still in trouble with a 15 game winning streak and trailing 21 to 14 but it's not as black now as it was just a few minutes ago as the Alabama defense had literally dominated the second third and half of the fourth quarter. Well, that two point play is really something. Rutley gives it to the big guy Johnny Davis and Johnny D comes across the 15 to the 16 maybe the 17 you can see the clock running. And if the time and the clock will be the ally of Alabama. You can see all the Trojans searching for the ball. They want that ball. Both teams with two timeouts remaining in the game. Call it the 17 and call it second down and seven. Right between the 16 and 17 markers. Davis again. Breaks out of there. Great running by Johnny Davis. Short of the first down, but a tremendous personal effort by the big guys. Willie Crawford and Ricky Odom finally wrestled him down. Great effort in there. We're going to need a week to pick the offensive and defensive players for the <laughs> Chevrolet Awards today. $1,000 scholarships going to the respective university's general scholarship fund in the names of the players chosen. Third in the yard. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. They made, they it, have made it. it. If he's got it, that means Alabama can chew up another minute on the clock. You bet. That's a big first down. Davis now 16 carries, 55 yards. Wayne Hamilton has been outstanding today for Alabama in particular defensively. The heat was on him because everybody figured that that was where USC would go a defensive end. He turned him away. First down tied 24 yard line. Tony Nathan has been outstanding. They roll him down after a couple of yards. Stop the clock too. Gary Cobb 53 wrote him out. Next Saturday, we're going to go back to the memories of the great shootout of 69 as the Razorbacks of Arkansas and the Longhorns of Texas, both undefeated, get together in Fayetteville. Texas today defeating Oklahoma in a stunning upset. Second down, eight yards to go Alabama, their own 26. Davis, short of the 30. It'll be third, and they'll need about five. Here they might have to consider putting it up. Important thing, keep the ball as long as you can as we come up on four minutes to play. Well, you've got that threat of the two-point play that can make the difference in the game. Southern Cal, if they could get the ball back, could score and get a two-pointer and go ahead. Third and five from the 29. Davis stacked up. Alabama will have to kick it. Plenty of time in the game. Walt Underwood and Myron Lefka stop Davis. USC in its first offensive possession took the ball down came away with a field goal to lead three nothing but in the second and third quarters it was all Alabama Buddy Holtz punt high spiral Kane comes across and looks at it takes an Alabama bounce USC will get the ball just outside the 20 yard line that's a 49 yard pressure punt here's Bill. All right, Keith, let's take a look at the top 10. SC, of course, the issue's still in doubt with three minutes and eight seconds to go. Michigan won today, 24 to 14. Oklahoma lost. Texas, number four, beat Oklahoma. Colorado had a victory over Oklahoma State. Ohio State won big. Nebraska won. Alabama, of course, still in doubt here. Arkansas did not play, and California is being defeated. 
Thank you, Bill. First down, Southern California, just outside the 20. Might be their last chance to put something together. Trailing 21-14. Hurdle wants to throw. Swings it off to the tailback. Coming out of the backfield. And the gain is for five yards. Lynn Kane has played the tailback position quite a bit here in the fourth quarter and has been effective, and he made that reception. Hurdle now, 13 out of 22 for 173 yards in this ball game. Ball just short of the 25. Make it second down and six for the Trojans. Two crucial first downs. Sweeney and Hayes are the wide people to the left or inside along with Simran. Hurdle comes in this direction. Looks. He goes the other way. Sweeney, who caught the touchdown pass, Scoops that one off the grass at the 39-yard line right in front of Don McNeil for a USC first down. Big first down. When I said two crucial first downs, I meant two crucial timeouts remain for Southern California. See if they use them judiciously. 21-19. UCLA has moved out ahead of Stanford. We'll run down all the scores and highlights from Dave Giles and Andrea Kirby on the Provincial College School Board right after this game. First down at the 39 for Southern California. Blitz is on. Hurdles pass away. Pass is complete. Good tackle. And Mike Hayes, 5'9", 175-pound flyer from San Diego, is caught. He's just apparently going to be a little bit short of a first down. This little turnout. They were trying to blitz and get the hurdle, but they couldn't get there. He winds up with a con completion on the play and a first down. I guess it's just short of the first down. Murray Leg made the saving tackle for Alabama. A minute and 44 seconds to play in a ball game. Second down, one. USC being very deliberate coming out of that huddle. They have two timeouts remaining. Hurdle wants to put it up. Passes away to the sidelines to Simran. And Simran is spinning around to the 39. That's a first down. Now they must call time at 126. The clock stops as the chains are moved. And here's Simran right in front of Mike Tucker. He tries to turn to the inside. He thought he might be able to shake a tackle and make more yardage. He's gone out of bounds and stopped the clock. It's running now with 120. As soon as the chain went down, the clock started. First down, USC. They're regrouped. They look poised now as Hurdle rolls to the right. He's got Simran oh, open. He's got him. He oh. can't hold him. Simran was wide open. The pass was just a little bit too long. And Randy had gotten behind Don McNeil. Fakes an out pattern and runs right by him. The ball is just uh, on his fingertips. It was just overthrown just a tad. And instead of being a touchdown, it's an incomplete pass. Whew, i got to take a deep breath. <laughs> what a game. One oh five to play in the game. Second down. Ten at the Alabama 39. Hurdle goes to the near sideline and the pass is Good defensive play. play. Cal Sweeney begging, can't get it. Mike Tucker defending. Good play by Mike Tucker. He came in and knocked the ball down. Here's Sweeney coming up the field. Hurdle rolled to the right to pull a secondary that way. He got single coverage on Sweeney. Sweeney turns right here. Tucker comes in, reaches over top, and grabs a hold of the ball after it hits Sweeney. It's a good play. Exactly one minute to play in the game. Alabama 21, Southern California 14. What a play. Trying to get to the sidelines, can't do it. Now, with 53 seconds to play in the ball game, it is Southern California with a first down as you watch the play again, and time is called by the Trojan. Sweeney breaks right across the middle, and if you think that Hurdle can't throw the ball, take a look here. Right on target. 53 seconds to play in the game. This ESPN Classic by AT&T Broadband. 
53 seconds to play in the ball game. Southern California, first down at the Alabama 17 yard line. 21 14, Alabama leads. The pass. It is caught by William Gay, out of bounds at the nine yard line. And you've got 48 seconds to play. And he's getting tremendous protection. Alabama's tried to blitz him a couple of times and the single coverage they haven't been able to stay with him. Here's Gay just breaking to the outside and Hurdle putting it right there. Out of bounds, stops the clock down to the seven yard line. What a football game. Got to go to the seven for the first down. They are just inside the ten. Second down and three or second down and ten, however you want to look at it, with 48 seconds and the Hurdle comes left. He throws for Sweeney. He goes! Tremendous play by Mike Tucker. Mike Tucker saved a touchdown with a fingertip. What a reaction by Mike, and what a football game he's playing. Looked like the ball was going to be right there for the score. He made a great second effort. I thought Sweeney was home free. I did too for a minute, but great reactions by Tucker. Senior out of Aniston, Alabama. Might have been a game saver. We've got 44 seconds to play. It is third down from just inside the 10. They need three for the first down. Hurdle throw. Flag. It'll be first and goal to go. And the flag was thrown. Don McNeil made the hit on Randy Simlin before the ball got there. And it's pass interference against Alabama. Got to be. Let's see if we can see this. Don McNeil, number 28 defensive halfback. Someone comes up the field. I can't quite see him here in the picture. Can't see it as well. Hamilton tipped the ball. He had no chance to catch it. And then McNeil not being able to. Here's another angle. Watch Hamilton go up right here. He tips it. No way Simran's going to catch the ball anyway. I don't know. That's a close one there. Hamilton, Wayne Hamilton, the man, and tipped the ball. And McNeil got called for the hit, and it's first and goal to go Southern California at the Alabama one-yard line. 39 seconds to play in the game. Lynn Kane, touchdown, Southern California. Now oh, what are you going to do for a two-pointer? I don't know. I think I might play a lot. <laughs> what a game. Woo. The two pool. Joe Schiff led the bucking and Kane took it in. And the Alabama defensive unit that had been so brilliant through the second and third and half of the fourth quarter beginning to wear down perhaps just a little bit here under the anxious efforts of Southern California. But what a football game we've seen. 35 seconds to play. Alabama still leads. 21-20. You know Southern Cal is going to go for two. Well, uh, the outcome of the game rests on one play. If Southern Cal converts this two-point play, I think they'll win it with 35 seconds left to go. If Alabama holds, they're the winner. We've had so many of these on college football this fall. Reminiscent of the Oklahoma-Ohio State game. Hurdle now, 18 out of 30 for 244 yards. The defensive player in the ball game has been chosen. The vote is going on now for the offensive player. The defensive player of today's ball game, Wayne Hamilton. The great defensive end. He's just been sensational for Alabama all day. The University of Alabama to get a thousand dollar scholarship for its general scholarship fund. Compliments of Chevrolet. The offensive player, I think, has to be Rob Hurdle, the Southern California quarterback. Well, he's brought him back to this position. University of Southern California getting a thousand dollar scholarship award from Chevrolet for its general scholarship fund. But there have been so many young men who have played so well on both sides this afternoon. You can see number 77 Barry Krause walking around exhorting his teammates Southern Cal obviously going for two. 
It's a right-handed football team, and the open side of the field is to the right side. They've moved it to the left hash mark. They've got three receivers to that side. Hurdle rolling. Throws it up for grabs. Intercepted, Intercepted. by Kraus. Alabama stops the try for two points, and it was Wayne Hamilton that came in to get Rob Hurdle. So the young men who have been named the outstanding players of the game are involved in the final gasp of it as Hamilton fought off the blocking and came in to drag Rob Hurdle down and deny him the chance to throw the ball. Don't forget the onside kick. 35 seconds. You know what happened in the Oklahoma High State game. But what a day for 94. Oh, what a day he's had. Woo. rolling out to the right and Hamilton coming in shutting his blocker he did not have enough time to throw it he unloads the ball which is the right thing to do because he's got nothing to lose on an interception and we're going to be looking now at a, prob a probable onside kick there's Might another point also point out era that Calvin Sweeney was wide open in the end zone too and Hamilton denied hurdle a chance to find it and the way he was throwing it he was sure he would have found him There he comes up out of the end zone right there, number 24, coming into the picture. That's that same dude that intercepted the ball in the Liberty Bowl and went about 49, right. 50 yards for the first touchdown. That's exactly right. The Alabama cheerleaders exulting. 21-20, the tie, trying to stun the nation's top-ranked team. 35 seconds to go. Here's the kick. They spin it around. The ball bouncing around, and it is covered by Alabama. So the Crimson Tide gets the football as Rick Neal covered it up front with all the backs and the receivers and the ends and all those people with good hands up to control the ball and they do what a football Ooh. game Woo! Mm. and what an upset by the Alabama Tide and next Saturday Texas beating Oklahoma today undefeated goes against Arkansas undefeated at Fayetteville with memories of 69 beginning to ring through the Ozarks Robinson there on the sideline probably feels he started throwing the ball a little too late Alabama puts it in motion Southern California will have to spend its final timeout to stop the clock Clock is still running at 25, 24. They have not called time. Twelve. They're going to let it run out, I guess. Yeah, not going to stop. And so it is done. The Alabama Crimson Tide upset the Southern California Trojans by a score of 21 to 20. In one of the remarkable football games of an already remarkable college football season. Alabama 21, Southern California 20. And this has been a presentation of ABC Sports recognized around the world as the leader in sports television.